So in part one we were looking at cyclohexane and even though we draw it like a hexagon here it really does look like this and we try to do that when writing it on the board or on the paper but really it's tough to visualize without using a molecular model like this. So first I just put two substituents here. I put an OH on a wedge and this isopropyl group pointing down on a dash and you can see that here that both are axial to one another. So this would be the highest potential energy compound, the least stable in other words. Um, just by convention, we'll place carbon 1 here and carbon 6 right here in the back. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All the axial hydrogens are yellow and the equatorial are blue. That's important to note because when we do a ring flip, just like that, well now the OH is equatorial up as opposed to axial up and the isopropyl which was axial down is now equatorial down. The blues now point up, the yellows point sort of at the equator, equatorial in other words. So this would be the more stable compound compared to this one for sure. We have two equatorial substituents. The overall potential energy of the compound is lower and the transition from this compound to this compound should in theory yield a decent amount of energy close to maybe 15 kilojoules per mole because axial substituents take up a lot of room and we can really show that with a space filling model because this wire structure and this ball and stick model that you you guys also have in your molecular model could does zero justice to how much space these atoms take up so that's where ChemDraw comes to the rescue. We just highlight all this, display mode, space filling, and there you go. You can tell how much space this huge group takes up. We can do the same thing with the oxygen. It is a larger atom compared to carbon. And there it is. So this is our axial structure. Now let's look at equatorial. We can do the same thing. I'll highlight the isopropyl group. And now it's a little easier to visualize how the isopropyl group is just projecting into the plane and away from this entire structure here. 